Hello everyone, I just wanted to illustrate my X61 ThinkPad tablet PC that I'm selling on eBay for $175 US dollars. And I just wanted to show Windows 8 and what it looked like and how well certain applications functioned uh, so you can get an idea of what to expect. Okay, and as you can see here, this is the Windows 8 Metro interface. Uh, it's very, I, I like it a lot, very, res very, um, responsive, very flashy, which is kind of new for Windows. Uh, of course, you have the Windows desktop here, and uh, here's Art Rage. I'll show that in a second. And if you push the Windows key, it'll bring you back to the Metro interface. And let's see, uh, Internet Explorer, and I'll just illustrate um, how well that responds. Uh, we'll go to YouTube. And we'll go to one of my uh, favorite YouTubers, Wilson Tech One, and watch a video. We'll do um, let's see ways I've changed on YouTube. Okay, and you'll see how quickly it loads. Now we have a nice little advertisement we can watch here, and you can hear the sound. And you can see the buttons work in Windows 8 for the sound. I have not been able to get the uh, to get the uh, tablet PC buttons here to work. Uh, I actually haven't put a lot of work into trying to get them to work. I'm sure that if you download the drivers and install it, I'm sure someone could get it to work. But uh, Wilson Tech One. Uh, let's try uh, 720. Let's see how well that loads. And you can see it's loading. You can see it's loading pretty quick. Plays smoothly. No uh, judder. Okay. So that's uh, YouTube. And as you can see on the right here, here are the. Uh, the charms are, I believe they're called charms on the side. And if you go over to the right, he, left here, you can see the open open applications. And uh, Sketchbook Express is actually one of the uh, Metro applications that you can download from the Microsoft Store. Uh, there's a variety of apps you can download. And here is Blender. I'll load up Blender real quick just to show that it does, in fact, function for uh, the people that I've posted this about in the Blender community. And uh, it's it's fairly good if you want to have a simple uh, portable computer and maybe you want the tablet functionality. Uh, and you just could do some... Mo if you get too high in uh, polygon count within your model, it's going to start to lag and stutter. And the Cycles rendering engine does in fact function halfway decent in it. Uh, just to, goes to show even older technology, it, it will work. So, um, there's that. And let's put out Blender. And here's Art Rage, and it is Art, Art Rage Pro, the latest version. And the, I will let you know on larger, on larger canvases, See, it's, it's going pretty smooth, but if you do try and do rapid uh, rapid brush strokes, it will lag. But I've noticed that even on my uh, desktop, that it will do that. So I, I think in some ways it's just art rage. I don't necessarily think it's the processor. Um, but see, it's lagging there. But I mean, with normal brush strokes, it's, it's perfectly fine. And this is a, um, I think it's 1024 by 768 uh, canvas. So, okay, let's quit out on Art Rage, and uh, you can see how bright the screen is. And uh, there are, as I said, some I think white spots, but I can't really see them. Uh, it's there's a little one like right there. Um, I'm not I'm not gonna try and zoom in and show you because it's uh, I don't wanna. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it on the camera, but um. Very small, and there are some dark shadows on the corners. I just recently noticed that. I don't really notice it, so. Um, and let's see what else to show you. Um, 
show you that. Um, here's the weather app and Windows 8. You can see how quickly that loads up. And that was one of the things when Windows 8 first came out. This was kind of sluggish and slow. I, I found it's actually pretty quick now. So, and it's a pretty cool app. And it's very quick moving between applications. Metro loads up really, really quickly. Um, here's uh, maps, big maps. Um, see, very quick, very responsive. It's actually a really nice tablet uh, for someone who wants a, a low cost tablet PC. It's very nice. Uh, it does get a little hot, it's always gotten a little hot. Um, I haven't had any problems as far as it shutting down or or anything like that because it's hot. I just think it's I think it's the plastic. And it just carries the heat very well. Since I put the solid state drive in, it's cooled down a little bit. And I do find when I'm when I don't have the base on that it does stay cooler. And so let's see. Here's it detached from the base. Uh, I'll give you a little look see uh, with of the tablet. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, as you can see, this is where the uh, see it's not attached because I don't have a screw. I can't get to fit, but it it stays on there as long as you don't fling it all around. It should be fine. Uh, batteries in the back. There's the back surface. Some minor scratches. Uh, the side and the base. Uh, simply from being a base and what it is, uh, it is a little scratched where the laptop goes in. Uh, I think that's just uh, inherent to uh, use, but uh, functions really well. Slides right in, no problems. Locks in, and then we're locked in. And it has the uh, the drive the drive on the side over here, and the screen swivels, rotates, locks in place. Unlocks and so it was back. And for those unfamiliar with the ThinkPad, the back and the bottom kind of ha are in some ways kind of soft. The back of this is soft to touch. It's a very rubbery feeling. Um, the key keys are. I do like the keyboard really lo uh, a lot. It's a very nice keyboard. Very very springy. Um, very responsive. Let's see, uh, I think that's pretty much it. If anyone has questions, post it in the YouTube comments. I'll see if maybe I can get another video if anyone wants it. Uh, Windows 8 actually functions really well on this device. There is a registry hack that you can do uh, because just so you know, it doesn't have the multitask split of the Metro apps where you can add, you know, you have a Metro app here running a Metro app here or the desktop here and a Metro app right here. But because the resolution of this screen isn't big enough, uh, when, according to Microsoft's restrictions, uh, you can't do that, but there is a registry hack you can do that will uh, allow you to do that. And I haven't done it. I haven't found it necessary. Um, but uh, that's uh, pretty much it. And uh, happy uh, buying if you uh, decide to purchase the X61. And thank you.